Greetings and salutations, my excellent friends. Steve Miller here with a special Asia Brief update on the cross-border shootings in the Korean demilitarized zone. Now, on Thursday, August 20th, North and South Korea briefly exchanged artillery shells on their western borders. As expected, South Korean President Park Geun-hye ordered a swift and severe response. The South Korean military radar system apparently detected a North Korean shell fired towards a South Korean frontline military unit in Yeonchon just before 4 p.m. on Thursday local time, according to an official at the Ministry of National Defense. The official noted that the DPRK fired several additional shells at the south side of the demilitarized zone near the same location. Per Pox orders, ROC forces returned fire with 155mm shells and other weapons in a counterattack. And that was it. The military engagement ended with no casualties reported on either side. South Korea has placed its military on the highest alert level, with local residents initially being told to evacuate and seek shelter during the confrontation. So, why did the DPRK fire those rounds? Well, it appears to be related not only to the joint U.S. ROC military drills, but the bombardment of propaganda being spewed by South Korean loudspeakers that were erected following the recent landmine incident. North Korea has warned before and again that it would retaliate against Seoul if the broadcasts continued. And that just about appears to be what happened. Now, is there any cause to be concerned? Well, sure, if you're close to the border. But this latest incident has had absolutely no impact on the rest of the nation. In fact, here at the Asian News Weekly offices, there was absolutely zero disruption to the normal course of business. And if you're in Seoul, there's no disruption there either, only if you're close to the border. So let me just say this perfectly clear. I believe there is absolutely no chance, and I do realize that this is a very bold statement, but I do believe that there is absolutely no chance that the Koreas are going to go to war over this. This is something very minor. Any other news broadcast that attempts to make this anything more than just a minor skirmish at the border is going after ratings and not news. Unfortunately, border skirmishes like this are the norm on the peninsula. The last such attack took place last year when North Korea border guards attempted to shoot down balloons launched by activists, and that occurred in October of 2014. Everyone on the peninsula has become accustomed to these kinds of attacks, and to some degree, we expect them. What needs to be watched now is if the cycle continues. And that'll just about do it for this update. If you have any thoughts about this event, please share them in the comments on Facebook or Twitter. The Asia Brief is a special feature of the Asia News Weekly Podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast, please share it with your friends, and if you haven't, subscribe. Subscribing is free, and when you do, the next episode is delivered automatically to you. You can subscribe on our website, asianewsweekly.net, or in your favorite podcast application. You can also keep up with more news from the region by following Asia News Weekly on Facebook or Twitter. And if you have any comments, questions, or feedback, be sure to drop us a line. That email address is podcast at asianewsweekly.net. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, remember to be true to yourself and to always be awesome.